outside leg kicks traded by both men. Atayiri sends her cage. Big dash on the outside. Could we get a contender for the Go Daddy knockout of the night here? It's most likely. Big Dash fires the right hand down the tube. I'm not liking how DeAndre is leaning back with that as you can kind of see him faint, the Big Dash fainting in. And DeAndre's kind of leaning back with his chin up in the air. He's got to be careful with that. Big Dash might come straight down the middle. He's also throwing those wheel kicks real well. Atayudis has been known to fly to get airborne with those lunging knees. Scooping shot there from Ataidis, nowhere near the target. Goes to the inside, lower leg. Big Dash looking very focused, very calm. Moving well, the balls of his feet, the Russian. Round is pushing forward, back in a Big Dash up against the cage. Big Dash starts to circle out. Leandro's fainting. Still a filling out process by both of these men. Ataid is still controlling center cage. Look at them staring each other down, analyzing each other's technique and their movement, the angles. I do like how Ataid is changing levels. You can see that nice little pop that he's doing, a little squat, just kind of threatening the takedown a little bit. Let's see him shoot in though a little bit, throw some punches, going for a double leg test. Ooh. Counter overhand right there from Big Dash came close. And Ataid is. Still controlling Simpson Cage, forcing the rush to the outside. Some cagey movement here from Vitaly Bittek. Looks for a counter overhand right off the leg kick. You can see the hush kind of fall over the crowd. Everybody's waiting for one big shot to come flying in. One championship needed to have only have sold the edge of the seats for this one. Because everyone here in Jakarta is on the edge of their seats. They paid for the whole seat, but they don't need it tonight. Ataidis cocking that left hand in southpaw stance right now. The Brazilian has got some heavy leather. And Big Dash saying, come on, let's see what you've got. Challenging Ataidis to come forward. Big Dash is waiting for the counter strike. He wants Ataidis to come rushing in so he can counter. But that's what Ataidis just did. Big Dash has only lost when he lost the world title to Ong Lan San. How we'd love a trilogy match with Ong La in Yangon. Ataidis edges forward in orthodox stance now. He has been switching all round. His hands are real low, but he's keeping that right hand near his chin, but that left hand is coming from different angles. You can see him raise it up really fast and kind of split in the guard of Big Dash. Both these athletes still in first gear. Thought about a counter overhand right there. Did Big Dash. Fakes the back kick. And resets. Let's see Leandro go back to that leg kick. That calf kick worked really well. Let's see him go back to it again. Slow down the movement of Big Dash. Get him stationary. We've seen Big Dash drift into the right hand of Ataidis. There he goes again, drifting off to his left into Ataidis' right. Showing no respect for the power hand of the Brazilian. Inside leg kick, nicely placed there from Vitaly Big Dash. Jab two from Ataidis. Outside leg kick from the Brazilian. Still a filling up process, do you feel here, Mitch? I think so, I think he's trying to get a read on each other, understand the distance and timing, but especially with Ataidis changing back and forth between the southpaw and orthodox, it's hard for Big Dash to get a read on him, but then Big Dash is also kind of you know, gyrating his hand movements, Kind of not giving Big Leandro exactly the taste that he's looking for. Good check of the low kick. Double check there from Ataidis. Chad two from the Brazilian. Still in center cage. As it has been all round. With Big Dash on the outside. There was a nice high check from Ataidis. This is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion checking leg kicks, Michael. That is impressive. His striking has improved out of sight over the last 12 to 18 months, Ataidis. He's going to there from Big Dash. He's incredibly relaxed and comfortable in there. He's marching forward, hands are down, pushing the pace, cre creating a lot of the action here. Oh, he shot in for a double leg. Right on the bell as Aoudis beat go to town. And to turn the right. round two here at the Jakarta Convention Center. 
Second round of action. Atayudis and Big Dash. Big Dash hasn't got the respect of Leandro. He hasn't even put his hands up yet. Spinning back fist there from Atayudis. What does concern me about Leandro, though, he is carrying his hands very low. His weight is forward, and his chin is hanging out there, Mitch. Yeah, but that's kind of his style. I would like to see the chin get tucked. The hands down, you know, that's okay, but because he's coming from different angles. But you can see, you know, whatever hand he's, you know, his rear hand, it does come up near his chin. And he's delivering some awkward shots with that lead hand. So you can't really quite see where they're coming from. If you got a high guard, like Big Dash does, you can see where those punches are coming straight at you. But when it's down, it comes from odd angles. Just take a look, folks, at the legs and the feet of Atayudis and count how many times he switches stance already. And we're just about a minute down in this second round. He must have switched at least eight times. Which is he more comfortable in, do you feel? The southpaw or the orthodox stance, Mitch? I'm pretty sure he's an orthodox athlete, but you know he seems very comfortable out of that southpaw stance. And he's moving around very well, and it's given the, uh, another wheel kick coming from Big Dash, but it's given Big Dash some problems. He's not able to initiate anything. He's waiting for Leandro to come at him, and then he's going back and attacks himself. So when we say southpaw, it's as now, with right foot forward, left hand being the power hand. When we say orthodox, it's as now, with the left foot forward, the right hand being the power hand. So you'll see Atayudis constantly switch between the two to confound Big Dash. Never let Big Dash know where the power is coming from. And it means that Big Dash has to constantly adjust also, Mitch. Very true. And you can see that by Leandro cutting the angles of where Big Dash is going. So if Big Dash starts to circle to the left, you can see him switch stances so that he goes into his right hand. Once Big Dash starts to circle to the right, Leandro switches back to southpaw so that Big Dash is circling into his power side again. BJJ World Champion putting on some fantastic strike. Oh, he turns it. A beautiful counter right hand smack back on the kisser. And Big Dash does a quick count of his team. I like the acknowledgement they both had. Big Dash goes, yep, you got me. And Leandro goes, yeah, yeah, I got you. Mitch, do you feel these two men, given the high stakes that are up here tonight, are holding back a little too much? No, I don't think Leandro's holding back. He's picking his shots very carefully. Big Dash seems a bit hesitant. He's not really pushing forward with this sort of linear, aggressive, straight-on kickboxing style that we've seen from him in the past. He's letting Big, he's letting Leandro control the center, back him up against the cage, and Leon, the way Leandro's changing stances, very comfortable, just as Leandro misses a big knee there, he's feeling, Leandro's feeling very confident at this point. We did see Leandro shooting for a double leg in the final second of the opening round, but no signs of a takedown attempt here in the second round. I don't think he needs to. I think he's doing a very good job on his feet. And I could say this right as Big Dash unloads a huge shot, but see how he changed the southpaw again as Big Dash was circling to the right. So you can see that Big Dash starts to circle into the power. Once Big Dash starts to move to the left, Leandro goes back to orthodox. Big Dash went for a liver shot, then threw a high left roundhouse, but pulled it back halfway. One minute 20 remains, second round of action, being some good signs, some good glimpses from Leandro Ataides. A check. I just feel that Big Dash hasn't found the flow, hasn't found the rhythm. It's lining up the one big punch, but not accompanying it by setting up with a jab or the leg kicks or a hook first. He's not one punch. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to start putting pressure on Leandro. And he's not initiating Mitch. He's allowing Leandro to initiate most of the attacks here. And Mitch, I've got to ask you, the expert, the question, why? Why is Big Dash playing this game? Why is he not in the show? Just went up there with a big high kick. You know, I can't say why. Maybe it's because he's not feeling himself. Maybe he's uh, trying to be strategic, trying to lure Ataides into Where's something that Leandro's open to with his hands down, his chin up in the air, and he's able to hit him. But the confidence and the swagger coming off Ataides right now is very impressive. Angla is probably watching this very intently, breaking him down on a different level. Getting back to there from Ataides. Ataides has controlled the center of the cage the entire contest so far. 
in the third round, which is where we're going to go very soon. We've got to see Big Dash do something different. We've got to see the Russian change it up, Mitch. Maybe Big Dash could push forward, and get a Ready? takedown, wait for Leon to come in at him, and start to deliver some of that ground and pound that he's known for. Okay. Is Big Dash going to go to the outside again? Will he try and stamp his authority in Shenzhen K? See, just now he went first. He's starting to move forward. He's starting to throw the combinations. That's what Big Dash is known for. This is a little more like it from Vitaly. Big Dash, oh, jumping me! Ataidis, you know he's planted opponents like trees with that flying knee before. Chad from Big Dash, not giving up center K so easily now. Hook from Big Jack. High on the ball to his feet. Counter overhand right from the Russia. Andre's head movement is pretty slick right now. I know his chin's up, his hands are down a little bit when he's drifting back, but his head is nowhere to be found. The headache maker from Vitaly Big Jack. But his hand was up. Leandro blocked that. And again, we get this situation of a switch stance. Leandro Taidis controlling center cage, pressing Vitaly Big Dash to the outside. Big Dash, counter right hand down the center. Inside leg kick was a nice one. Chad from Ataidis. Chad two from Big Dash. Last time we saw Big Dash in action, he did hang back and he was disappointed by the decision that was given to him, Mitch. Is he making the same mistake here? Is he holding back too much? I mean, it's obvious that he's holding, he might be holding back a little bit now. He's not pushing forward the way he normally does. But now we're starting to see in the third round, he's starting to become more active. He's throwing more strikes and initiating attacks. Do you think he's waiting to go kleptomaniac and steal the round? in the final minute and a half. I mean, he might be trying to do that, but I mean, this is a, this is not a championship match. This is not five rounds. He's got less than three minutes to put a huge punctuation in this round and in the match. And more than that, there's so much at stake. It's not a world championship match, but a world championship spot is up for grabs. But right now, but we gotta pay attention to Leandro. I think it's more the fact that Leandro is confusing Big Dash rather than Big Dash holding back. The constant switching of the stances, the incredibly relaxed attitude from Black Titus, and the oh, big big Here comes Leandro! He chooses to take him down! Can he finish it now? Big Dash is high! The ground and pound! The monstrous ground and pound! The monster that I made! That was awesome! He's surprised if this fight goes to the ground, but both fighters have been talking extensively about keeping it on the feet and trading shots. Pasternak said his game plan here tonight is to draw Ataidis into deep water. He believes the cardio isn't matching his, and if he could get Leandro out of the first round, the Brazilian will tie it. Meanwhile, Ataidis said he'll get Pasternak on the ground and sub him out via an armbar. It's Pasternak in the black shorts here in the southpaw stance. Both fighters just kind of feeling each other out with the jab, trying to gauge that distance. Good movement, circling away from the power of the powerful Brazilian. Looking for a counter right hand, the lead right of the southpaw, overhand right there from Pasternak, drifts backwards now, looking to control sensor cage the pole. Ataides, you know, the first chance he gets to take down Pasternak, he'll go for it. Big looping strikes coming off that lead hand of Pasternak. Very odd to see a lead overhand right, but he's throwing it. High right roundhouse there from the Brazilian. Produced the knockout of the year in 2016. A flying knee knockout of Muhammad Ali. Can he repeat here tonight and get airborne? Faint there off the backhand from Pasternak. Telegraph the overhand right. Still a filling out process here in the opening round. Set for three. Ataides goes down the center corridor with the right hand and a short left hook, faints the right cross. Awkward angle on that punch there from the Brazilian, looks to cut off the cage. Yeah, he's trying to step forward, Kregel cutting the distance off, kind of utilizing different footwork, showing some different looks for Pasternak to, you know, not quite get comfortable in the striking. Ataides now can try to control center cage. Pasternak jabs his way in. He was in orthodox stance there. He goes back to his favorite southpaw stance. You 
can see how out tight he is. He goes in with the jab and he steps forward with the right as he's coming in, changing his footwork. We're seeing a lot of fighters nowadays alternate back and forth between southpaw and orthodox stances. It's that next level of striking. Still a standing contest here. As we said earlier, both men very well versed and champions on the ground. And this one so far, a glorified kickboxing contest. Jab there from the Brazilian. Yeah, but they're two different levels of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu cred credentials. Ataides is a world champion, while Pasternak is just a regional Abu Dhabi. Ataides, a 77% finishing rate. Pasternak, 58% finishing rate. Tries to thread that left cross down the centre corridor. Good outside thigh kick from Pasternak, just above the knee to that common peroneal nerve. Jumping knee from Ataides! Our shadows of the Muhammad Ali knockout there in the first round from Leandro Ataides. He loves to take flight, looking for the high flying. Did not a, not a lot of damage done there, but he's definitely th showing these little bit of fanciness to his strikes. He's putting them out there. The win against Ali was much needed for Leandro last year. It turned the tide on a three fight losing streak. How he'd love to keep the wins going here tonight and knock out Pasternak. Pasternak did say yesterday he believes Ataides is most powerful in the first round. Yeah, but that knockout of Muhammad Ali came late into the fight, so he reserved a lot of that power. So he's actually learning how to control his energy output so he can last it longer into the fight. Ataides switching stance now and he catches Pasternak with a right out of southpaw. There's a bolo style uppercut from Ataides. Quite a difference in camp between these two men. Ataides had a 12-week training camp. Pasternak, a five-week camp. Outside leg kick from the pole. I probe with the lead hands here. Makes it a little awkward when you're an orthodox fighting a southpaw. Those lead hands do tend to clash up like that, Mitch. Yeah, they do, but they're just kind of, you can just see them. They're just kind of find their range, trying to really understand just how close and how far that is. You know, when you're a southpaw, you're used to fighting right-handed fighters. But when you're a right-handed fighter, orthodox, you really don't get a lot of looks at southpaws. Ataides has been known for explosive first rounds in the past. He's got four first round knockouts. Quickest was in 21 seconds over Ricardo Silva in Shudo. Is he going to launch a knee here just before the bell? Oh, counter right handed beauty there from Pasternak. Drifts off the cage, threads an overhand right. Such a stance, and we go to the towels at the end. Fight! Pasternak showing in the first. He is very capable with the counter punching. Ataides got airborne once with a flying knee. Fake there from Pasternak in his preferred southpaw stance again. Ataides is setting his right hand here. And he fires it off Mitch. You can start to see Pasternak starting to circle away from that right hand of Ataides. He's not trying to get backed up. You can see what Ataides is trying to do. He's trying to put Pasternak's back up against the cage so he can launch some of these flying strikes. But Pasternak needs to keep moving. He needs to keep circling out to that weaker side of Ataides. Setting the right hand again, perhaps here Ataides. It's Pasternak who goes down the center. Both men launching the heavy artillery early on here in the second. Looping left hand there from Leandro Ataides. You know, this was Pasternak's game plan. He wants to pull this fight into deeper water. So Ataides starts to get a bit fatigued, but releasing energy conservation from Ataides. He's not really putting everything into each one of these shots. He's landing shots, not really exerting a lot of energy, no takedown attempts, like you said, Mike. Michael, just that constant forward pressure and landing with the strikes, but then getting out and evading the counter. Pasternak, who was quite the revelation in Poland at the start of his career, went 11 and 0, an amazing streak in Europe before signing with one championship. Little jab there from Ataides. Still, we have a striking contest. There is no indication of either man looking to take this fight to the ground. Lunges, overreaches a little with that rear left hand as Pasternak. There's the counter from the pole, beautifully timed. Yeah, Ataides is trained with some of the top strikers in Brazil out there at Novo Union. He trains with Jose Aldo, Henan Barral. 
just some top level strikers and he's really learned a lot and that's where he likes to keep things. He likes to keep things on his feet and he's showing good head movement here. He really hasn't been like you know, hit with a lot of shots from Pasternak. Pasternak's just out of range. So he's a five-time world BJJ champion and a gold medalist in the Copa de Mundo. Antaeides has had only two wins by submission, five by knockout. He prefers to entertain the crowd. That's definitely you know, his game plan is to keep this feet, keep this fight on his feet and throw those hands. After that drifting towards his right, staying out of range of the right hand of Leandro Ataides. Ataides has shown already in this round he's got some pepper in that right hand. You know, I'd like to see you know Atayi start throwing in some leg kicks. You know, start softening up that that lead leg there of Pasternak because he has suffered a leg injury in the past. But he showed so much determination and so much heart of and spirit of a warrior by fighting through the second half of that fight with a nasty leg injury. Pasternak almost shaving the beard there with that right hand to the chin of Atayi. Lots of concentration on these two martial artists. Outside leg kick, nice step across there from Pasternak. So Pasternak's the one that decides to go after the legs. I like that. Mix things up a little bit. If they're only throwing one weapon, your opponent get a lot more comfortable with knowing what's coming at them. Despite what Pasternak told us yesterday, it doesn't look like Leandro Ataides is slowing down at all. In fact, he loads up that left hand again, throws it as an overhand. Good left hook there from Pasternak, then a little quarter turn off to his left, drifts back towards the right now. Ataides is starting to create better angles. He's throwing punches and stepping off to the side, not being there for the straight counter. Left hand down the tube from Pasternak, left hook from Ataides, didn't quite turn the knuckles in, backs up the pole now. Jab from the Brazilian. Under a minute remaining, second round of three, walled up a gut there from Ataides. Striking advantages definitely got to be going to Ataides at this point. He's landing so many more strikes, consistent forward pressure, and he's just barely out of the way. The first big takedown of the fight. We're on the canvas for the first time tonight. Ataides, top position here, half guard for the Brazilian. Back elbows from Pasternak trying to attack the ear of Ataides. Now nice. let's see who has the upper hand on the ground. Ataides just looking to smother Pasternak on the ground here, and Pasternak wants to control Ataides' posture and not allow the Brazilian to work those heavy hands in the ground and pound. Nice way for Ataides to end the round on top, delivering a ground and pound. Stuck in the half card. Very good. Ataides has got a really good game plan. He's conserving his energy well, in and out of strikes, evading damage, and he also landed that big takedown to end the round there in second. It may be all for Michael Pasternak to do here in the third and final. Just under five minutes remaining in this contest. And Ataides switching starts, and he eats a nice left hand from the pole. Pasternak looks like he's got a little bit more gusto behind him. His corner is screaming to him, Michael, move, Michael, move. They don't want him to be flat-footed here because when you're flat-footed, Ataides can tee off on you with the heavy hands. You see that constant forward pressure, these lunging shots by Ataides, but he's mixing them up. He's showing different angles on every single one of his strikes. Mitch, if you're in the corner of Pasternak, what are you telling him to do here? He's got to soften up that lead leg. He's only thrown one leg kick the entire fight, and that actually landed quite successfully. He's got to keep consistently mixing up these combinations. And his, his left jab really isn't a jab. It's like this swinging, sweeping hook. He's got to throw these stinging jabs out there, because then he just throws that naked straight right, and, he's, and Ataides is nowhere to be found. Looping left hand again there from Ataides. With just over three minutes and 30 remaining, Michael Pasternak, the man from Kalice in South Central Poland, needs to get to work. Jam from Ataides just keeping Pasternak at bay. 
Is it time for Pastanak to switch things up here? Maybe look for a takedown of his own. He can try and change the recipe. We'd love to see him try to shoot and be a little bit more aggressive. Right now he's kind of, now he's starting to try things. He's trying to throw strikes, but Atayis has just got his head moving constantly, so a lot of these strikes are not landing clean. He's being aggressive in the third round, but he's not really increasing his significant strike advantage. Back to Southpaw stands for Pasternak, switches to Orthodox Corner are telling him to switch, they're telling him to start throwing down. Looks for the outside lane kick, misses the target. See, it's hard to throw a kick like that when you don't set it up with some punches behind it. The footwork of Ataitis has been very slick all night. Constant movement, his head is never in the same spot. Every time he throws a punch, he leans to the left or right to evade the counter strikes. Ooh, spinning back fist there from Ataitis, just caught the neck of Pasternak. I like that look, he faked a roundhouse kick, came around with a spinning back fist. Oh. Ataitis may have knocked out Muhammad Ali last time, and he started to do a bit of an Ali shuffle then. Confidence oozing. On Leandro Ataides, who, contrary to what Pasternak thought yesterday, has not tied out. Beautiful evasion there and retaliation from Ataides. He strikes and his head is constantly moving, Michael. Controlling center cage. It may be desperation times now for Michael Pasternak of Poland. Time becomes Pasternak's enemy. He's got a minute and 45 to start putting the hurt on. He's got to continue to push forward. Can't let Ataides control the center of the cage. Ataides just looking to walk him down. Pasternak takes a little stroll, resets himself. Fires the left cross down the tube. Oh, Ataides tags him on the jaw. Pasternak nodded at him and said, yep, you got me with that one. Beautiful pork right hand there. Ataides just oozing confidence here in the final round. Showboating a little. Good right hand. High left roundhouse kick from Ataides. He has out kickboxed Pasternak here tonight. Like out boxed him here tonight. He's definitely just thrown a variety of punches that have landed clean. And it, Pasternak really doesn't have an answer for the striking of Ataides. He attempted the flying knee again. That seems to be his favorite strike. Constantly moving heads, never in the same spot. Look at that. Moving but dodging left and right, stepping in. Nice lands. He lands the leg kick. I'd like to see more of that from Ataides. A beautiful right hand. Speak back to the kisser there from Leandro Ataides. Hasanak has taken some solid shots to the jaw in this closing round. 20 seconds remaining now. Looks for a takedown, Pasternak, but it's far too little, too late from the pole. Something he should have tried to employ earlier, Mitch. Yeah, nice straight right hand lands by tight. He's shaking the hand around, ready to let it go. Oh, and he staggers it with the right hand just before the bell and a flying knee. Leandro Ataid is bringing it home strongly. The Brazilian on fire. Damn! What a way to end for Leandro Ataid. He pumps his... Impressive overall showing from Leandro Ataid. He not only coming off a huge knockout victory in his last one, there's that fake roundhouse attempt, lands the spinny back fist. Just an overall striking clinic put on by the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion, Michael. Rich Franklin, your thoughts on this one? What a final round from Leandro Ataides. He, def he definitely put a, uh, a great game plan together at the end. You know, actually in the second round, I thought that Pasternak started to close the distance a little bit with the striking. He found a home for that overhand right. But about midway through that round, Leandro really started honing in on that right hand, exploding with those strikes, and he came in more explosive. I'll give Leandro the decision on this. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this fight in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner, Leandro Atayde! Leandro Ataides takes it by you.